Hi, Kaylin. Hi, Kaylin. Hello. How are we doing, guys? Hello again. Hey, Professor. Hi. How you doing? <clears throat> uh, guys, this just isn't working out. I'm not having enough time to get that to, to get that recording converted. So I'm going to push this back to 7:30. I. Oh man. I, I'm sorry, but you guys were supposed to be here from 7 to 9:15. 9:30 or 9:40, so I I'm sorry, but I can't see anything else. It, it's either that or you're going to be waiting around. At least if you know you're not going to get on until 7:30, you can at least go and get something to eat or something. All right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's fine. No worries. Yeah, uh, sorry. I'm sorry. What were you saying? You're going to start class at 7:30? Yeah, Mila, you're very very dark right now. Yeah, my, my older, one son went to sleep, and then my older son's watching a movie. <laughs> okay, good for you. Go Sorry. <laughs> no, it's no problem. Uh, I had a couple people that, seems like I got everybody from the lecture, but I had a couple people that are supposed to be here. That would be one of them, I think. And they're not here yet. So, I uh, see Mila's here. Uh, Elizabeth, 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 put your mic on. Hi. Hi. Are you supposed to be in this class? It's on my schedule, yes. It is. When did you when did you log in? Because I don't have you. I just pulled up the roster momentarily. I'm sorry. I don't mean to stop. Ah, gotcha. Never mind. <laughs> okay, right. thank you. All right. Um, okay. Is Lewis in? Lewis. Christina Bacon, I, I see you. Uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Bell, Kelsey, Kelsey, Donovan, Maxwell, Armethia, I see. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher your name. Manila? Manila? Yeah, it's, uh, you just call me Nyla. Nyla, I'm sorry, Nyla. Okay. Elizabeth's in. Malin. Is Malin in? Jordan. Mariah. Here. Thank you. Aaron. Here. Michael. Shard or Sheridan. Mr. Parker or Miss Parker. Sheridan. Mila is here. Alec. Alec Root. Brian, you're here. Here. Yes, I see you. Jessica. Okay, Sarah. Alexis. And Andrew. Guys, I'm going to have to get out of here for a second or I'm going to have to share screen. Okay, I'm sorry I'm in here, but... I've got people that are not here.
I want to ask, are you Serbian with your last name? Croatian. Croatian? Mila? Mila? Yeah. Yes. I was thinking the same thing with you. Are you Serbian? Yeah, I'm half Serbian, half Italian. Ah. <laughs> uh, absolutely phenomenal food in Serbia. Yeah. They, they, spice, the, they spice the meats tremendously. <laughs> I never been there, but I was raised, you know, Serbian food and stuff. Uh, I got... I. I went to, I've been to Croatia twice in my life. Nice. It's the most beautiful country I've ever seen. I, I've seen it. It looks very pretty. There is a place there called Plitvisa Lakes that has seven lakes and one has waterfalls into the other. It's absolutely oh, wow. gorgeous. Mm. So I am sending these guys an email. asking them to show up. Professor? Yes. Hey, did you mark, you marked me, correct, on the roll? Who's, who's me? Uh, for Gaith. I'm sorry? Gaith? Are you, you in you here, Gaith? You marked me, correct? Gaith. Gaith, I don't have you in this class. It's your last For name. For the lab? What's your last name, Gaith? B, B as in boy, A L L I C H. Gaith, this is, this is 115, right? I'm, I'm sorry? Oh, this is class one, 115, right? Section 115? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I have you. I have you for the introduction to chemistry and then the lab. But I just wanted to make sure that you add it. You have me on there. Gaith, I'm looking at the roster. I don't see you on it. Hold on a second. I will check on it. Sorry, just hold on, guys. I may have printed out the wrong roster. That happens. I am into 115. You guys, did you guys get this in the lab class or did you get? I got your email. Okay. Yeah, I got your email. I just want to make sure that you know I'm not being marked. Or, uh, one second, just one second. I gotta get these other yeah, people in here. Okay, guys, how do you spell your last name? That's B as in boy, A as in apple, L as in Larry, L as in Larry, I as in India, C as in Charles, and H as in Harry. Okay, Gaith, I will, I'm gonna look at this in a second. And Okay, let's see if this works out better. No idea, that's saying 115. Oh, wait a minute, I'm so sorry. Hold on a second. So I have you in my lab, but is your lab, do you only do it on Tuesdays? Cause I know we have you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, you um, have. Gaith, if you're in my Tuesday lab, you don't have to be here. Oh, well. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, that's my mistake that I apologize. Okay, Because no I problem. did receive your email, that's what. Okay, so we, we only have lab once a week then. We only have lab once a week. Oh, okay, I apologize. <laughs> no <laughs> problem. Bad. All right, thank you, Professor. I guess no I'll see problem. you next week. I got 19 people in here now, that should be good. Uh, Lewis, 
Has Lewis come in? I'm here. Thank you, Lewis. All right. Uh, Nate, is Nathaniel Bell here? Yes, I'm here. Thank Nate, Nathaniel, what do you want to be called? Uh, if we could do Nathaniel, that'd be great. I will do my best. <laughs> I'm not promising anything. Kelsey, I saw you in here. You here, Kelsey? Yes, I'm here. Marie. Marie. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Donovan. Donovan. Donovan Gully. Maxwell Hickman. Maxwell Hickman. Okay. Uh, Kate, Kaylin, I saw you, Kaylin, didn't I? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Malin, I saw you. Jordan Lee. Jordan Lee. Michael Miller. Michael, there. thank you. Uh, Sheridan Parker. Sheridan Parker, Jessica Stacy. Sarah Sullivan. I'm here. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Alexis Turley. Alexis. Here. Thank you. And Andrew Weaver. Those of you that are in this lab and not in my lecture, I apologize. I was in your lab. I had your lab up on the screen when I emailed the invitation to my lecture class. I apologize for that confusion. Okay, wonderful. Um, I didn't hear my name called in the attendance. Who's my? Uh, Alec Root. Got you, Alec. I'm sorry, I skipped over you. I will not That's make that right. mistake again. Will not um, make that mistake again, guys. I also uh, didn't hear my name called, Aaron Lewis. Or didn't we do that? Yes, we did that. Okay, I'm sorry. Aaron, what happened was I saw your name earlier, okay? Oh, okay, okay. So that's, that's what happened there. I do, do have you there. Okay. I got 19 people in here. Ah, oh, we got Mr. Parker, wonderful. And before we actually even did anything important. Okay, guys. My third class today. Um, a bit frazzled. And that just means I'm going to be funnier than normal, which is a good thing or a bad thing. All right. Uh, I like to kid around a lot, guys. If, if I offend you, please tell me right away. I was in uh, my 2045 class about three, three years ago. And I had a girl that was trying to become a doctor. And she was really, really worried about organic chemistry. And I said, ah, it's nothing. There's nothing involved. You know, do you like to cook? And she said, yeah, yeah. Organic chemistry is the same thing as cooking. You take ingredients, you mix them together, you throw them in a pan and shove them in the oven and it comes out good. Same thing, only in organic chemistry, instead of the ingredients, you're using chemicals. Unbeknownst to me, that conversation was overheard by another person. And so four months later, I read in Air My Bitches, Mr. Popovich is a chauvinist pig. He tried to talk one girl out of chemistry class and into the kitchen cooking. And I'm like, huh? Mm -hmm. Bottom line, if I upset you, if I upset you with anything I say or do, please bring it to my attention right away. It doesn't do me any good to read about it four months later in, by the way, you guys know Air My Bitches is Rate My Professor. So, oh. my name, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Popovich. 
call me Mr. P, Mr. Popovich, Professor, Professor P, do not call me doctor. I haven't earned that distinction. Anybody know what a doctor is? Ali, what's a doctor? Someone with a um, degree. Somebody with a degree? You have a higher degree. Could be in medicine, right. could be in Ali. law. No, 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 no. Your PhD. Ali. Ali, it's your PhD, right. But it's not right. A doctor is somebody that studies one subject for so long that he eventually knows everything about nothing. At least I made Ali smile. The jokes, guys, do not. Uh -huh. So funny. The jokes do not get any better than this. I'm sorry. That's as good as it gets. Proton and a neutron. We're walking down the street. Proton says, I think I've lost an electron. The neutron says, are you sure? Proton says, I'm positive. No. <laughs> <laughs> neutron goes into a bar, orders a beer. Bartender slides it right over and says, no charge. When do elements get their checkups? Periodically. They do not get any better than this, ladies and gentlemen. Give you a little bit of my background. I have a BS in chemistry from West Virginia University. I also have a master's uh, in chemistry from the University of Pittsburgh. I went back, I got my English degree. That's where I met my wife in uh, Shakespeare's tragedies. Somehow I've always thought that was appropriate. Went back, got my English degree at, don't be shaking your head at me, Armethea. She's not around. She can't hear me right now. Went back, got my English degree from FIU, Florida International University. Then I went on, I became a crime lab chemist. I was a crime lab chemist for 27 years. Uh, I've also worked as a synthetic chemist. I, was, I managed to make 23 compounds nobody else had. I was able to hold, I had the only crystals in the world of these things in my hands. Totally unique experience, I loved it. Until my boss said, okay, you're gonna be reacting chemicals with phosgene today. You know phosgene better as mustard gas. I was 22, I wanted to live to be 63. So I said, okay, bye-bye. Now that I'm 63, I'm not sure I made the right choice. Any case, I have one more degree. I had got my master's in education. Got my master's in education from uh, USF. The real USF. Not directionally challenged University of Florida. Come on guys. Tampa is 500 miles away from South Florida. I graduated from the University of San Francisco. Uh, generally speaking, I have a wife. I have one daughter and three grandchildren, one of whom is going through pretty much what you guys are doing. He's a second year student at FAU. The other one is a uh, high school sophomore and I have, a, my granddaughter is in the eighth grade. You wanna get me off topic guys? Three things, three easy ways to get me off topic. First way is to talk about traveling. I love traveling. Uh, my lecture class can't answer this. The new people. What's the state? I have one state I haven't visited yet. You get an extra credit point if you guess it. You're not even gonna try? Alaska. Been there. New York. I lived in New York City for an entire year and survived it. South Dakota. Been there, been to North Dakota. North Dakota was number 49. Colorado. Been there on several occasions. I can't Arizona. you. Nope. Hawaii. Nope. Everywhere, I've been there. Indiana. 
I unfortunately admit that I've been to Indiana. There's nothing to do there, man. What are you uh, doing? There? I, 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 that's why I unfortunately admitted I was there. I was I was on my way through there to somewhere else. Is anybody from Indiana? My mom is. I just spent a lot of time up there for COVID in my camper because I couldn't leave. I know uh, it's bad as hillbilly. Oh yeah. Are you? Oh, y'all got our goose, right? Or geese? Southern. That's all there is. Southern Indiana, huh? Yeah, Southern Indiana. Mm -hmm. Uh. Anyway, it's been. It is Vermont. I'm kind of saving Vermont because I really, really, really want to go up and see that area. Vermont's awesome. There's such I, good hiking. <laughs> I, I admit it. Admittedly, I want to get to the Finger Lakes region of New York, Vermont, and get into New Hampshire. All in the future. My parents own a huge piece of property in Vermont. Okay. Can Have I park my been, RV uh... there? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they would let you. <laughs> It's an old, it's an old uh, moonshine distillery in the barn. So okay, can, great. Let's get it. I know how I know how to make moonshine. There you go. There you go. Just give me enough potato peels and some yeast. I'm there. Chemistry lessons with Greg Popovich. There we go. Absolutely. Hey guys, I was a. Do you know what I did as a crime lab analyst? Have Mixed you ever blood. seen Have you ever seen the uh, movie Breaking Bad? Uh, yeah, I've seen the show. The show, Breaking Bad. That's what I did. These guys would You're Walter them. White? No. <laughs> the, no, I was the anti-Walter White. Oh, okay, the, gotcha. I was the guy that would go in, make all these places safe, and collect the evidence and go back and tell you what they were doing. So, yeah, that's what I... Do that's I know awesome. how to make methamphetamine? Yes. I'd imagine. <laughs> I actually came up with a method to make methamphetamine literally in in 10 minutes. You made meth? Oh yeah. That's you invented job. it. Oh no, I I invented this. <laughs> yeah, I actually invented this way to make meth. The I published this article and I'm really not kidding you. I published it uh, on December 25th or something like that. That was a publishing date. By, 26, by December 26th, I had 100,000 hits on it. For non-related reasons, where can I find this article? Uh, Microgram. It's a DEA publication. That was a joke. <laughs> At, all you got to do is sneeze at ephedrine. That is a pun. All you got to do is sneeze at ephedrine, and you make it into methamphetamine. It's very, very easy. Give me enough money, I'll teach you. Keep in mind, guys. All right, if I teach you, that means I'm going to get fired here, right? So the price for me teaching you methamphetamine is $2,000 a month for three years. You should be able to pay that off in the second kilo of meth we make. What else am I doing? Okay, guys, I sent you in the email. I sent you an email. I, I told you I've been teaching th two classes today. I, it gets a little wilder after I, I, I kind of like lose my glucose level. Uh, when I emailed you in the class, I emailed you that this is your class. That is true, guys. You paid for it. You're paying my salary. Use me. Abuse me. Use me and abuse me, guys. Uh, my phone number. Take this number down. 727 Two zero two seven two seven five. That is my landline. Yes, I am old enough to have a landline. Seven two seven two zero two seven two seven five. My cell phone number is seven. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, my cell phone number seven zero seven eight four three one three zero five. Cell phone seven zero seven. 8431305 keep those around guys i've been handing these numbers out for probably about 3 years now i haven't had anybody abuse them yet nobody's called me at 3 o'clock wanting to know uh, how to get the density of something when you know the weight and volume somehow that's never come up in conversation at 3 in the morning seriously if you have a problem 
I'm a phone call away. The other thing is, guys, you're, because I teach lecture right before this, I really don't have time to do office hours before that. If you indicate during the lecture period that you want to speak to me afterwards, I will stay afterwards with you. So uh, that's where my office hours are. You have my cell phone number. I generally am good about getting in touch with emails once a day. I look at emails at least once a day. So beware of that. Will so, this class yeah. typically go until the 940? Will it go until 940? No, absolutely okay. not. Awesome. Uh, if I talk long, tonight it might, might be an hour and a half, but if I talk longer than an hour, tell me to shut up. Okay. All right. Um, Again, this is your class, use me. If you have questions in your lecture class that you don't know, and your lecture professor is an idiot, those of you that have me at 5.30 do not answer that question. So if you are having problems, seriously, if you're having problems understanding, maybe I can give you a different perspective and maybe I can help you along. Use me, that's what I'm here for. You gotta be prepared, guys. As my lecture students already know, I run an interactive classroom. I will call on you uh, cold, all right? The reason I do this, I, I believe that this is an important life skill. How many of you really believe that you're going to be with your boss in your real job and your boss is not gonna come and question you about something you've done at some time during your career? So this is why I'm doing it. I'm trying to keep, get you to learn how to think on your feet. With that in mind, guys, I don't know is a perfect answer. You have to understand, I've been on the phone trying to get my phone number changed from well over the spectrum from December 4th through that happened this week on January 13th. You don't know how many people I've had talk to me and trying to take me through this when they didn't know what they were talking about. I don't know is a perfectly good answer. Guys, I'm throwing stuff at you that you've never had before. How are you supposed to know this stuff? Say I don't know, it'll save us both times, okay? Uh, required materials. You do not need the textbook. If you've been to the bookstore and picked up the laboratory experiment guide, you don't really need it. We have copies that are on the course in my courses. Uh, the book, I believe, is around $15. So judge yourself why, whether you want to spend the $15 to buy the book or whether you want to pay for the printing of the printing of the materials, because you are going to need to print the stuff out. You're gonna need a computer with a camera. The final is taken through HonorLock. HonorLock needs a computer with a camera. So if you don't have one, either arrange to, bother, to borrow one from a friend or a relative, or if necessary, go to the chem office or go to uh, administration and ask them. I know when we first went online, that they did have some computers available. I don't know whether they did or didn't. Uh, do, do or don't anymore. Bring a calculator to class and bring a periodic table to class. If you have a survivor guide, which you should if you have lecture, if you have a survivor guide, it has a periodic table in there. I'm, when I go through and I do lectures on each individual lesson, I'm going to have, do it through PowerPoints. I will upload my PowerPoints into my courses. And in addition to that, I am recording all of these sessions and the recordings will be uploaded into my courses as well. Um, any questions on anything I've gone over so far? Anything? Can you see the screen right now that says Chem 1025L? Yes. 
You can see that? All right, let's go through this real quickly then. If you go to the course home, what you will see in the upper left-hand corner is something that's gonna have an announcement. It's gonna be labeled first week, second week, and so on and so forth. The first thing I'm gonna put there are going to be your assignments that you have due the week after I give my lecture, okay? You're gonna have by next Wednesday at midnight, you're gonna have to do a safety quiz, a pre-lab for the chem and physical properties lab. You're also gonna have to do a pre-lab for safety and you're gonna have to do a syllabus quiz. I'm sorry, erase that guys. I'm sitting talking about 2045. What you're gonna have to do next week is you're gonna have to do a safety quiz and you're gonna have to do a pre-lab for the chemical and physical properties lab. You will always see them right here. I will, by Sunday at five o'clock, I will put an announcement in and you can look here for your assignments. I'm gonna try and email you those assignments at the same time. It's not gonna be interesting. I'm just gonna basically cut and paste it into an email, but I'm gonna do that in case you like to look at emails opposed to announcements. Uh, calendar, you can look at the calendar and see your assignments as well. If I look at, sorry, those assignments are due the 20th. If I look at the 20th for you and I look all the way down at the bottom, if you click on these, that'll tell you what's a, what's what assignments you have available for you. Make sense, guys? Okay. Now the guts of the, the guts of the course is in course content. You click on that. The first thing you're gonna notice, the top thing is the syllabus. And this particular syllabus has a lot of crap in it as far as you're concerned, because you see all these face-to-face -face things here, right? They don't really pertain to you. I do take attendance and you do have to be in this class in order to, set, to do the uh, results section of it. What is important for you is this section. You are going to be doing 13 experiments, including the safe, I'm sorry, excuse me. You're gonna be doing 13 experiments. 12 of the 13 pre-labs count. You get to drop one pre-lab. 12, I'm sorry, excuse me, 11 of the 13, you get to drop two pre-labs. 12 of the 13 reports are are necessary. You need to do 12 of the 13, you get to drop one. The, it goes by a straight 90, 80, 70 percentage. I have the right to lower the percentage. I will not raise it. By that, I mean, if I decide that the, the class hasn't done as well as it should have, I will lower the A to an 87, B to a 77. But if I decide that the class has done too well, I have too many A's, I will not raise it to like a 93. Does that make sense to you guys? Uh, you have two assignments per experiment. One is the pre-lab. The pre-lab will be done the midnight Wednesday before we actually discuss the laboratory, okay? Pre-labs are done Wednesday midnight before we discuss the laboratory. The report will be handed in the next Wednesday at midnight. So these things are going to stagger. I'll get into that when I get actually into the, an actual report, actually what you're gonna be requested to do. So every Wednesday there should be two things, the yes. pre-lab and then the post. Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, um, oh, yeah, that's where it's at. Sorry, I forgot where the schedule was at here. If you go to the very bottom of your 
syllabus. There is a schedule uh, showing you what experiment we're doing that week. Next week, we are doing chemical and physical properties. So you're gonna hand in the safety rules and the pre-lab for chem and physical properties. Then I'm gonna discuss this. You're gonna look at all the videos and then you're going to answer, then you're gonna do the report. The report for chem and physical properties is due on the, I gotta figure out whether the 28th is Thursday. No, I just spilled a whole bunch of water. Ah. Sorry. Okay, the 21st is a Thursday, all right. So after we've done, after we've discussed chemical and physical properties, you're gonna fill out the report and you're gonna hand that in midnight on January 27th, along with the mass and volume measurements pre-lab. So they're gonna kind of skip each other. Are you under, does anybody, not understand how the assignments are going to be divvied up. Are we good with that? Okay. If you look, there also is a periodic table that's listed down here. You can print that out if necessary. Below the periodic tables, we get experiment one, that is where the safety video is, five points. I got to give a safety lecture after this. So that five points is going to be involved in my lecture on that. There's a safety video. And there is a safety sheet there. The safety sheet can also be used to answer the safety quiz, safety and syllabus quiz. If we get into a real laboratory, you are generally going to have to, you're gonna to have to print out the lab itself. As I said, you don't have to buy the book from the bookstore. It's right here in each individual experiment has its section of the laboratory there. You can just print it up or just click on it and then eventually this will download. You can download and print it out. Okay. When we turn in our like pre-lab and post-lab, are they um, like gonna be scanned? Or like, however, like in a Dropbox? Uh, I'm gonna get into that in a second, Mila, okay? Uh, this particular lab has a lot of videos involved in it because it has a lot of individual experiments. You're gonna have to look at the video, see what happens there and record your observations about what happens. There are all these individual experiments. I think there are 10 of them or so. The pre-lab. Let's go in here. Basically, you have to read the lab in order to do well on the pre-lab. Simple questions. And when it pops up. Multiple choice for the pre-lab, which is not a clear indication. After reading the, the, uh, after reading the laboratory, you should be able to answer them. So basically we have multiple choice questions here. Questions on the pre-lab. Okay, so I gotta get exit preview. All right, I'm gonna get into, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the uh, results for that one because it's a bit funky.
Again, each of these experiments is going to have videos. You're going to have to look at the videos. You're going to use the videos to answer the questions that are asked. A report is going to look a little bit different. What's going to happen in the report is it's going to ask you a question and it's going to give you a text box. Sorry, basically my screen is in the way. I had to get rid of it. Okay, never worry about question one. Question one is for me to add points or take points away. So never worry about question one. Question two. Calculate the mass of the block, okay? You have a text box here. What you need to do is you need to type in Yes, you need to type in the number, the label, and where you got the number from. You need to put in the operation. Is it a pain in the ass? Yes. But what happens? If I don't know where the numbers come from, if I don't know that, and you get it wrong somehow, I have no way of knowing because these numbers are coming from all over the place. So I need to have this description in there. In order and you'll go back. You'll go back and read these answers yeah. that we're typing in and then give us the credit? Yes. Okay, like if you miss, I was gonna say, like if you misspell something, not paying attention. I don't care about misspellings. Okay. Misspellings, I'm, you're not gonna get detracted from that. Write this down. You're gonna learn about significant, if you haven't learned about significant figures yet, you will learn about them. Key thing, I take a lot of points away from significant figures and measurement readings. That's why I went through so much time in my lecture regarding these two things. I miscalculation, if, the, if, the, if it's 10 points, you're gonna lose half of them. You'll generally lose half points on a miscalculation. Uh, not having a label, you're gonna lose three points. Sig figs, measurement reading, three points. If you don't label something, five points. If you don't do your work, if you don't show your work, zero points. You gotta show your work. If you don't show your work, you don't get credit. Uh, it's the major things I can think of off the top of my head that I take points away from. Do we understand what I'm asking you to put in the text box? No, I'm confused. Can you repeat for me, please? Okay, who's talking? Judania. Judania, you need to put in the text box. You need the number. You need the label of what that number is. In this case, it is grams. And you need to put a description of where that number came from. This number came from weighing block A. This okay. number was measured in grams and it was the, the uh, description is the uh, mass of block B. I have to see the operation Jordania, Jordania and I have to see the final answer and the final description. Okay, I get it. Okay, any other questions ladies and gentlemen? I have one, but it's slightly off topic. 
Do you have any room for um, anybody else in your lecture class? Uh, I believe I do. I don't know if you're able to do that or not. Okay. I believe, I'll check with my advisor. I believe the, um, well, who was that? Thank you. Who said that? I'm Sarah. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Um, I am not aware. Generally speaking, Sarah, I hate to tell you this. They frown upon moving, moving from one class to another during the first week. Okay. Who, do you okay. have, who do you have, Sarah? Um, which oh campus? God, I forgot his name. Which campus? I forgot. Uh, it's an online class. Hold on, I can tell you in two seconds. Warden, Wu, Musgrave. Um, uh, Snowden. Snowden. Not familiar with him. Don't know anything about him. I can't tell you one way, one, anything good. Generally speaking here though, the teachers that are here in SBC are very, very good. HCC is another thing, okay? I would give, I would steer you one way or another in HCC. Here, uh, pretty much everybody's capable or culpable. Maybe I misunderstood. That was a joke. <laughs> Okay, any other questions about what I'm expecting for the reports themselves? Pre-labs are worth one. Uh, these reports are worth nine. So that gets you up to 130 points. Getting back to the syllabus. Okay, getting back to the syllabus. Uh, you have 11 pre-labs. The 12 reports are worth 108. Safety quiz is five. You also have a lab practical. It's cumulative. And basically they ask you in, in the lab practical, they ask you similar questions to what is asked in conducting the experiments. You're gonna have, the practical is gonna consist of actual experimental work. You're gonna to have to do two densities, a chem reaction, and there's one other thing I can't remember off the top of my head. Questions about grading, uh, questions about grading, questions about uh, the syllabus. Now, be aware, all the assignments have a zero in them right now. So even if you do the safety quiz, your result, your, your percentage is going to be very, very low. I have nothing to do with the grade book, unfortunately, I don't like the grade book. I don't like the way it's situated. And as a matter of fact, I couldn't explain how it does what it does, but it does work. I've, believe me, I've tried enough independent calculations to prove that it does work. So be aware that your grade is gonna, your percentage is gonna seem very, very low. Now, after I've graded the reports, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to submission review. The tab in there is quizzes. And you will get a listing of all the quizzes that you have taken till that time. If you wanna see my comments back, what you have to do is you have to click on the arrow beside the, uh, uh, the report you wanna see. Do not click directly on your report, click on the arrow. What you will get is you will get a drop-down box 
It's not here because I have a different screen than you all do. What you will see when you do the drop this drop box is you'll see one point that says uh, summary. Click on summary, you will get another drop down box with your attempts. Click on whatever attempt it is, and you can see your grade, what you got right, what you got wrong, and my comments thereon. Any questions about that, guys? Any more questions? Then the only thing we have to do is, unfortunately, I have to find where I stored my, where I stored my PowerPoint. Mm, not there. Sorry, I've lost that and uh, Yay! Oh, thank God. All right. You should see nothing now. Now we have a share screen and the safety PowerPoint. Yay. This will save a lot of time and save me from having to type this crap in there again. Safety rules. If you don't obey the safety, by the way, guys, this, these safety rules are implying you're doing a face-to-face -face class. The only reason I'm going through them is because they're gonna come up in the safety quiz. So indulge me for 10 minutes or so, maybe 15. If you don't obey the safety rules, you're gonna be dismissed. Now, eventually you guys, I take it, are gonna go on to Chem 1 and Chem 2. When you go to Chem 1 and Chem 2, from day one, you need to have a lab coat. You need to have goggles. You need to wear your goggles the entire time you're in the lab. Even wearing a lab coat does not exonerate you from maintaining proper dress. Proper dress, your pants, your lower from your hips down, your hips to your ankles need to be covered. If you have jeans, no holes in the jeans. Your top, needs to co cover from the waist through the neckline, over the shoulder, halfway down the arm. No midriffs, no low cut blouses, no wife beater shirts. Don't wear synthetic clothing. If you have ever tried to remove your nail polish while you are wearing nylons, you will know why instantly why this is not a good idea. If any of the nail polish remover drops and gets on your nylons, you dissolve the nylons. So if you have synthetic clothing on, if we're working with organic solvents, you are gonna dissolve that clothing. Do not wear contact. By the way, who mentioned spelling? That was me. La, Mila. Yeah, 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 yeah. You notice. My spelling. Yeah. I was, I was doing this real quick. <laughs> don't, don't wear contacts. When you're in a regular lab, never wear contacts. Wear your glasses. Buy a pair. I had a friend of mine in high school that splashed some organic solvent in his eyes while he was wearing soft contact lenses. They nearly fused the lenses to his cornea. Don't take the chance. Don't, don't horse plane lab, respect the danger that's in a chemistry laboratory. A green little chemist on a green little day, mix some green little chemicals in a green little way. 
<sighs> now the green little grasses do tenderly wave or the green little chemists, green little gray. I will have no green little chemists on my watch. This means no unauthorized experiments. This means if you have a flask of yellow liquid and a flask of blue liquid, do not mix them together to see if you get green. Do not take your test tube and aim it at a fellow student. It might be loaded. Seriously, if you're heating a test tube, direct it away from everybody. Don't heat chemicals unless you're told to. You never know what's going to happen. If you get doused with a whole bunch of chemicals, I am not kidding here, this is serious. If you get doused with a whole bunch of chemicals, rip your clothes off, all of them. Go to the nearest shower, pull the cord and stay in that shower for 15 minutes. Your modesty is not going to save your life. If you get something in your eye, go to the eye wash, hold your eyes open under the faucet for 15 minutes. But Mr. Popovich, we're wearing goggles. Nothing's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I used to have to work with gallons of a chemical called ethyl acetate. I'm allergic to ethyl acetate. I was wearing my goggles. The vapor seeped through and I got conjunctivitis. Be aware that things do happen. When you get to the lab, know where the first aid kit and the fire extinguishers are. No eating, drinking, applying makeup or consuming wax lips. No chewing gum. The easiest way to poison yourself is through your mouth. Don't do it. When you get to the lab, stow everything you have underneath the bench or off to the side. You should have nothing in the aisle wake. Report your allergies. I had a person, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be doing the experiment, but you're gonna see the experiment. And it is the balloon race experiment. We used to use latex balloons. And I had a student said, oh, it's okay, Mr. Popovich. I'm allergic to latex, but it's only if I touch it. Latex is an insidious allergy. As you get more and more doused to it, you can become more and more sensitive to latex. She was in the room and just the odor of the latex caused her to start to hyperventilate. The thing about it is I knew about it and I was able to get her away as quick as possible. If I don't know about it, I'm not going to know how to react. Turn off the equipment when you don't use, when, you, when it's not in use. Be aware of others. Are you seeing the array of people that are in this lab right now? Can you see different faces in here? How many of you have been to a bar to consume an adult beverage? Ham went right up, Sarah. All right. I'm a bartender. <laughs> All right, great, absolutely. Sarah, how many times have you spilled alcohol on yourself? Uh, all the time. Do you have others spilling it on you more often? Uh, depends on which club I'm working at. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you. Guys, <laughs> if you're in a bar, there's more of a chance of somebody spilling a drink on you than you spilling it on yourself. Look at these people that are in this picture right now. They're the ones that are dangerous, avoid them. If you take a chemical out of the original bottle, don't put it back, put it in hazardous waste or pawn it off on another student. After you use something, recap the bottle. If you spill chemicals, break something or set your partner on fire, let me know. I got to tell you something. Anybody know what beef bourguignon is? Anybody? 
Yes, it's delicious. Oh, God. Who's that? Mila? Maxwell. Who said? I'm sorry? Maxwell. Maxwell. Isn't it great? So good. Ah, it's the die for. I have it every birthday dinner. You're very I lucky. make it. I make it, too. I've been trying to make it. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. First step, what you do is you take the chunks of beef, throw them in a plastic bag with flour, and you shake it all around. Then you take this out, throw it in the pan with a little bit of oil, and you brown all the chunks. Then what you do is you take cognac, pour it over the, over the cubes, and you light it. Hmm. Now, I've watched cooking shows. I've watched them. I know how you do it. You got the cognac in the pan. You just take the pan, turn it. The alcohol fumes hit the gas, and it lights everything. Easy peasy. I can do this. What can go what, wrong? What they don't tell you is you're not supposed to heat the cognac for five minutes before you try and light it. I turned the pan. Whoosh. Okay, I looked around. The cabinets weren't on fire. Did you lose your eyebrows? My wife was a choir. Just bear with me. My wife was a choir. The dog's not talking. I'm thinking, great. I got this made. Nobody's going to. <gasps> Guys, I used to have bangs. I burned a triangle out of my bangs because of this. My wife came home. I was dead meat. I give you that story to illustrate something. You're going to be very, very interested. By the way, this is my hair when it's not wearing a hat. You're going to be very, very interested in the experiments you're doing. And what's going to happen is you're going to lean over and you're going to get your hair. Your hair is going to fall over and it's going to come very, very close to the Bunsen burners. Tie your hair back when you get in the lab. Wash the bench after you're done. After you do that, wash your hands. Gentlemen, I bring this to your attention especially. If you don't wash your hands, generally you're in a laboratory for about two and a half hours. After about two and a half hours, you're going to want to relieve a body function. You're going to go to the bathroom and you are going to touch a sensitive area of your anatomy with your unwashed hands and you will be immediately reminded that you should have washed your hands. That will happen one time. Your hands get contaminated. If your hands are contaminated and you do something like go to eat a sandwich, you've now put those chemicals in your mouth. Be aware, hot glass looks just like cold glass. So if you're going to pick something up, kind of cup your hand around like this, approach it very, very slowly, about an inch away from it. You can feel, generally feel, the heat radiating off of it. And then just do taps to see if the glass is hot or cold. Thank God. All right. Now, remember, I'm going to upload the PowerPoint. You have the video to go through for the safety quiz. In addition to this, if you go to the safety, if you go into the safety chapter, uh, safety module, there is a page or two of safety notes there. Use all this, use the syllabus to answer the question in the safety and syllabus. You get more than one attempt. I don't know how many attempts you get at it. Keep on doing it until you get the five points. That's all I got, guys. It wasn't too bad. I was even an hour. Question. I have an answer. This is... Uh, Jordania? Yes. Are you talking about the quiz? That's the new one that due tonight? No, there's nothing. Nothing is due tonight. The safety quiz is due next Wednesday at midnight. By next Wednesday at midnight, you need to do the safety quiz and you need to do the pre-lab for the chemistry and physical properties lab. 
Those two things by next Wednesday at midnight. I don't accept late lab reports, guys, because if I grade things at different times, I have a bias. Things I look at the first time through, I forget when I'm going the second time. So I don't, I grade all the lab reports at once. I grade them right after you submit them. Generally speaking, I have, I will try and get to these lab reports probably Thursday before you, before we meet. I can't guarantee it, but that's what my goal is, okay? They will be graded by the Monday after you submit them for sure. So you're not gonna have to wait around for weeks and weeks to get grades. I generally turn around grades very quickly. Anything else on what we discussed tonight? Again, I apologize for the confusion on the email about getting into the earlier class. I apologize about that. Uh, guys, you're gonna notice one of my, one of my bad points is I'm not a, I don't have a great attention to detail. I'll be in the class trying doing ahead doing something, then forget I'm in the wrong class. That happened. I apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, just before I leave, Donovan Gully. Is Donovan Gully in here now? I noticed Maxwell is in here, so. Yes, sir, I'm here. There we go. I've just gotten you out of there. Thank you. Yeah, I got the mix up uh, email and was confused. <laughs> I, hey, I'm confused 90% of the time. Jessica Stacy. Is Jessica Stacy here? And that's it. Guys, everybody else. Everybody else is here the first week. You will not get withdrawn from the class. Uh, Donovan and Jessica, on the other hand, did not attend this week. If they don't attend next week, they're out of the class. If you know either one of them, send a message. Guys, if there's nothing else, I'm hungry. Uh, I got a quick question. Um, ah, maybe of course. All right, Alec. <laughs> All right, you've already, all right, Alec, I just marked it. Alec, I just marked, Alec kept me from eating today. Oh, my apologies. I, <laughs> I just, I was unsure about asking because I thought maybe you might've said it earlier and I just No, no, please, it. please guys, any questions, please throw them at me. So it was back when you were talking about like the lab safety and like the coats and all that. So uh, are we going to be meeting in person? Never. Okay, but we still need no. to have that stuff on the you, camera, you, right? You need, oh, I'm sorry. Like the lab coat and the pants. You don't When you take them one and come two, he said. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. You're going to need them then. Right now, you're going to need to know that you have to have them. Oh, okay. Okay, All does right. that make sense, Alec? Yeah, yeah, sorry. That's the part I missed then. Yeah, basically, you're not working with chemicals, Alec. All right. All right. Sounds good. Second point, as soon as I get off of here, Am I going to be able to watch you do the experiment? So am I going to be able to tell if you're wearing a lab coat or not? <laughs> yeah, no. <nah. laughs> there we go. Would Anything? we have to, Elizabeth? Will we have to buy our own lab coat, or would the school provide us a lab coat when we do get to, up to those? You're going to have to buy it yourself. Okay, Come thank on. you. It makes a great Halloween outfit. Actually, I bought one and I returned it today. <laughs> Because I said, no, nah, I don't need it. That, yeah. You will need it eventually, though. So does anybody going... know where you can buy them? Or what, where's, uh, where I can get them? Amazon Elizabeth, Amazon's them. amazing. I bought my woman's one off Amazon. It was great. Uh, if you okay, go to thank a, you. If you go to a uniform shop, generally uniform shops will have them. Like scrubs and stuff. Yes. Uh, the but Amazon when you... one was 25 bucks. When you get it, you want to make sure it's a full length. I don't want any pharmacist lab coats. Pharmacist lab coats don't count because generally speaking, they only go to the waist. Lab coats have to go down to your knees. Ah, Jessica. Jessica. 
Speaking of the devil. Anything else, guys? Uh, that's it for me. Uh, you have a good night. You have a good night, too. I'm having gumbo tonight. Sounds good. Uh, it is. Hot and spicy. Good night. Thank you. Good night. See you, you on Tuesday. You don't. Jessica, Jessica Stacy, I believe. Yeah, Jessica Stacy, stick around. I need to talk to you. Good night. Other than that, guys, if you don't have anything more for me, I will see you next Thursday. Some of you, you on Tuesday. Thank you. Have a good night. Sounds good. Have a good night. Have a good night. Enjoy the gumbo. Okay. Thank you. Uh, chat. Jessica, can, can you hear me at all, Jessica? I can hear you now. Um, I just wanted to apologize. I completely oh. forgot. I didn't even think about a class. I, I, I usually am not like this. So I'm like, I don't even know what I missed. I'm so sorry. And I'm really upset that I missed this class. Jessica, Jessica, don't worry about it. Um, I had a class once. I, at one time, I was, I was teaching at HCC, uh, mm -hmm. SBC, and I worked at Macy's. Oh my God. And for some reason or other, my classes at HCC canceled and I got told to stay home from Macy's and I completely forgot about my class at SPC. So oh. believe me, I can understand. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you're here because that means I don't have to withdraw you from the class. If you miss the first two classes, you get withdrawn. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. I, I thought, cause I thought it was, um, Seven, I knew it was like, I thought it was seven to 940. So I thought we were taking up the whole class. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to get in at least at half of the class. So I'm like, I need to hear what's going on. No, no, Jessica, what's going to happen usually? Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, check the announcement. I probably am going to move the time of the class. I've moved it once from seven o'clock to 715. I'm probably going to move it to 730 because okay. what is happening, my lecture class is, is asking questions at the end of the class. Okay. And I can't get done with that. And I need to get done with that before I can convert the recording. Okay. That, and it generally okay. takes a half an hour. So as a consequence, uh, I, I told everybody to meet me at 715. I didn't get on here until about 25 after. Oh, I hear you though. All okay. right. Well, what did I, can you at least tell me a brief, what did I miss? <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to uh, look at the recording. Okay, good. I didn't know if this was going to be up. Okay, awesome. It, the recording will be loaded. I, it probably will not be loaded tonight. It may not be loaded by, it will be definitely loaded by Sunday. Okay. Okay, no worries. I'll, well, I'm definitely going to be at the next class. I just cannot believe I totally missed it. I can't All right, even... Jessica, you need to you need to answer the safety quiz. Okay. And the pre lab for the um, chem and physical properties. Okay. All right. Do I need to do that? What time or what? It will when, probably... by Wednesday midnight. Okay, done. Thank All you right. so much. S second thing. Mm -hmm. you are going to call when you go and call up the reports to answer them yeah you're going to get a question and there's going to be a text box i'm okay. going to go i will go over i will remind everybody this next week as well when you have the text box whatever was asked and generally speaking it's going to be a calculation you have to show me the entire calculation from beginning to end okay now you, ha you have to give me a number a label and a description. Where did you get the number from? Okay. 
you need to show the operation and you need to show me what the final answer is. Okay. I'm going to go. I want you to specifically remind me, remind me next week that I need to get everybody. I need to remind everybody they need to do the textbook properly. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Look at the video. I think that should help you out. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good night. You too.